Assalamu alaikum. In this video, we'll learn how to install one BAMP on Windows 10 machine. BAMP 3.3.0 64-bit on Windows 10 machine. So let's start. If you're new to my channel, subscribe to the channel, like the video. Open your web browser and just open the link from the description and download from here the latest version of BAMP. Just click here. It will start the download. So I already downloaded this one for the time frame purpose because it's up to my internet speed. It will take some time. So if you are installing first time the web server, you have to also install the Visual C++ redistributable packages from here or down below. Download the RVC redistributable packages. It's six eighty six sixty four. This one. So okay. So yeah, I also download this one for the time frame purpose. And after that, what you have to do, go to your download folder or the directory where you have downloaded the file and just extract this one. The just create a separate directory and just put it here. Extract here. And yeah, just install the latest one. Okay. Click on that. Agree term and terminal. And click yes. So 22 install. After that, just install the 13 one. Just install all of them one by one to avoid any issue. Uh, after installing them, so we have to install this one before installing the VAM. Take a little time, and I will start later on. Install the 12 one, so make sure you have to install 64 bit if you are on 64 bit system. So I am on 64, so that's why I'm installing 64 bit, and this one. Just install this one. Install. Finish. And the last one, 64 bit, 2008. <laughs> After that, what do you have to do? What you have to do? Just start the VAM server once the installation is finished. Taking a little time. So after that, uh, click on the setup you have downloaded from VAM server website. So do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? Click on yes. Select the language, I will go with English. Uh, accept the agreement, click on next. You can also get the links of uh, the redistributing packages from here. You can... Okay, 17 release and all of them from here. So click next. So I'll go with the default path CBM62, uh, 64. Click on next. So I'll go with the default installation process. Click on next, next, install. So 
So it's take a little time. So I'm pausing video here. It's complete. So Edge will be used as browser by web server. Do you want to? I'll go the. Uh, I'll go with. Uh, the default browser. I'll go with default editor. So. After that, uh, please read the following important or information before continue. Okay, when you are ready to continue, click on next step. Okay, next and finish. So if you go with the default options, you will get a uh, bam shortcut on the desktop. Let's try to run it. Get it. Run it. Let's take a little time. Start. So you can see now our web server is up and running. So let's try to run our first program. So let's go to C Vamp WW. And here I will go with hello work. Just hello, and inside that we'll create a file dash index PHP. Open that, open that, and use start the opening text. Just save that and let's try to open our first project in browser localhost. Hello. Hello. So you can see it's not phrased as. In... So it's showing the extension in front of that dot x. That's why let's just say make sure it's the extension is dot php. Let's try to run it again. So you could you can see hello world. So good luck guys if you have any pure situation. If you to comment below, subscribe to the channel, like the video.